Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Being a Linux user, there's so many amazing open source and free tools available for us to use. However, if I had to really take a step back and think about the ones that I use every single day, it actually took me a moment <laughs> to actually make that list. And so today, I'm actually going to be talking about the top Linux apps that I use on a daily basis and why. Now, a lot of these programs I'm going to be talking about, they're all related to mostly content creation because I am a YouTube content creator, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the very first program, and that is the Internet Browser. I think for a lot of people, this is going to be the most used app that they actually have to have every single day. And so I myself, I don't know how I can use my computer without an Internet Browser. And so this is pretty much a no-brainer. This is the first one that I have to use every single day and so the second app is the text editor <laughs> I know if you're probably wondering why I use this so much is because the text editor much like my notebooks it's pretty much my go-to tool you know if I have any ideas or things that I need to jot down to me there is no better tool than the text editor it's simple it's easy to use and it helps me keep a lot of my ideas you know, available to me whenever I need them without having to go through a lot of complexity. Okay, so text editor, my second most used tool. And then after that, of course, simple screen recorder. This is an absolutely amazing tool. And that's actually what I'm using right now to record this video. I can't really imagine not having simple screen recorder because of the fact that it's so simple, it's powerful, and it gets the job done. Now, another one that I use heavily is OBS. Uh, OBS is one of the most fully featured tools available. It is open source. I absolutely love it. And so, you know, both Simple Screen Recorder and OBS are ones that I rely heavily on. But for the majority of my videos, I do use Simple Screen Recorder, which leads me to Audacity. And so Audacity is also a must-have tool if you're going to be creating content because it allows you to clean up a lot of your audio. And for me, I use it simply to remove a lot of background noise. So this is also a tool that I use along with my Simple Screen Recorder and OBS video tools. And speaking of video, the one video tool that I think every video uh, content creator should have and learn how to use, especially Linux, is Kden Live. This is my go-to video editor and I really cannot see, you know, not using it. Okay, this is another tool that I cannot live without. Okay, and you know, if you are in the whole Linux world, then you're not going to have an option like Adobe Photoshop, okay, or Apple Final Cut. And so, Kden Live, I think, is the one that is going to be the most a popular tool that a lot of video editors use. And there are other options available within Linux. Uh, such as DaVinci Resolve or even Lightworks. But I think for the majority of people, this is the best video editing tool. Now, the other one that I use is OpenShot, but I don't use it as much as I do Kden Live. So that's why this is my must-have tool when it comes to video editing. After that, it is actually the screenshot tool. <laughs> Very much like my text editor. It is a simple tool that I use on a daily basis. And I really rely on it quite a bit much more than I think I would and now let's go and get into some uh, business related stuff and that's gonna have to be Cal LibreOffice Cal I use spreadsheets quite a bit I look at a lot of data and so this is a central tool for me to use to actually do a lot of work you know and so um, basically the whole LibreOffice suite is what I use but the one that I use the most is LibreOffice Cal and then second to that is LibreOffice Writer. And so those are uh, things that I actually use for business and work. Now, other tool that I actually use that is almost on a daily basis is GR Sync. I absolutely love this tool. Uh, I do have backups. And so this is a tool that, you know, much like all the other ones, it is a must-have tool. I really believe in backing up you know as much of your data as possible because you never know you know and I don't really rely on online storage you know because of the fact that I don't really want uh, personal things on the internet okay so a lot of my most important things are obviously on my computer and GR sync is what I use to back everything up and so that is it for the main 
Linux apps that I use on a daily basis and why. As you could probably tell, and as I mentioned a little bit earlier, pretty much all these tools, they're primarily focused on content creation and obviously some work. And basically the only one that is heavily for work is the whole LibreOffice or Cal, okay? And obviously on my internet browser, I do a lot of work on there as well. But as you can see here, the majority of it is all related to content creation. And so if you had any thoughts on any of these must-have Linux app that I use, or maybe you have your own list of must-have Linux apps, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you did want to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.